In this video, we'll learn to express one quantity as a fraction of another. So, if we're asked to express 3 as a fraction of 4, all we're going to do is 3 out of 4, which we write as 3 quarters. And that's represented here and here. So, that means 3 out of the 4 possible. Let's have a look at another example. If we ask to express 15 as a fraction of 20, for example, what we're going to do is 15 out of 20. In short, 15 over 20, and that's it. That's the job done. You can simplify it further because you can divide both of these by 5 to get 3 quarters. So we've got to express 6 as a fraction of 12. So that is just 6 twelfths. And it's been expressed as a fraction. But if you want to simplify it further, and I'd encourage you to simplify it further if that is possible. So we can divide both of them by 6 and we get half. Now we've got to express 9 as a fraction of 54. So all we need to do is 9 over 54. And we can divide both of them by 9. So we get a sixth in here. Express 17 as a fraction of 20. So 17 over 20. Can we simplify this further? No, we can't. Because 17 is a prime number and we can't divide 20 by 17 to have no remainders. So here we have a few more examples. Express 35 as a fraction of 25. So 35 over 25. We've done it, but we can simplify this further because both of the numbers can be divided by 5. So that gives us 7 fifths and we can't go any further, so we've got to leave it there. Now we've got to express 49 as a fraction of 40. So 49 as a fraction of 40. Go any further? No, we can't. So we're going to leave it like that. Now we've got to express 9 as a fraction of 3. So that is 9 thirds, and we can simplify this further by dividing both numbers by 3. So 3 ones would be the answer. Now we have a question which is slightly more complex. So it says one number when expressed as a fraction of 20. So we've got to imagine that number out of 20. Is then simplified makes half. What is that number? So basically we've got to look at half of 20 which is 10 and that's the missing number. Another way to look at this is what have we done to get from 20 to 2? What have we divided by? And that is 10. So same thing over here. That number which is missing, when you divide by 10, it gives you 1. Or, looking at this, 1 is half of 2, so this must be half of 20. So one number when expressed as a fraction of 4 to 2 is then simplified, it makes 2 7. So out of 42, what's that number? That makes 2 7 when simplified. So 42 to get to 7, we've divided by 6. So we'll do the same over here as well. Now we can reverse the process and got 2 times 6, which gives us 12. Because 12 divided by 6 gives us 2. So the missing number is 12. 